Empowerment with Dr. Josefina Monasterio. Welcome back to Empowerment with Dr. Josefina, and I'm Laura Gutridge. First off, of course, we'd like to thank Bedazzled for providing Dr. Josefina with all the lovely outfits you'll see her wearing on the show. And that was like a, got a nice little green kind of shine to it. Yes, very. it might look black on TV. It's like a, it's like a dark green. It's very sexy. Very. Um, thank you, uh, the ladies at Bedazzled, for doing that. Uh, and then to get right to the lesson, um, growing our self-esteem and you know unless you say we truly have to believe that we are worthy of happiness to even start off in the right direction here exactly and, and that um, <clears throat> a higher self-esteem the more high it is that it more likely we are to have you know healthy relationships and um, not have destructive toxic ones but and a couple times on lesson you you do refer to the fact that high self-esteem doesn't necessarily um, mean, you know, if you have a high paying job, uh, exactly. a big car, exactly. a lot of these things can mask a low self esteem, can't they? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you talk about being <clears throat> a spiritual sort of like inner core thing. It's, that's kind of hard to understand that. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that, really, what you mean by that? Okay, I will try. Uh, what I'm, when I'm saying about self esteem being a part of our being, mm -hmm. our, the core, it's what you think about you deeply. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have anything to do with somebody else's opinion. Mm -hmm. Or you can be, see, what there is different levels of self-esteem. Somebody can be excellent in their job, but in other areas of their life, they have low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So it's different levels. So when we talk about that spiritual in spiritual terms, it's knowing who you truly are. Mm -hmm. Because once you, you know, and that comes with reflection, that comes with meditation, that comes with working on finding out what is your purpose in life, what are you here for, what, do, what is your gift. Mm -hmm. And once you start honoring those values, your core values, then you develop in your self-esteem from a different level. Right, and, and I see what you mean about it being a personal thing because you also talk about how we can trick, fool people into them thinking that we have this high self-esteem, and but we know within ourselves, but we're the only ones that know that. Exactly. It's a very personal exactly. thing. Exactly. And sometimes I think it's so intense that we may even fool ourselves yes. into thinking that we have this high, but there's always that little thing in the back of our mind that tells us we don't. and. And I think it's important that we take responsibility for this achieving a high self-esteem. Absolutely. And an example is like, say, college, going to college, get a college education. Um, you could have like the best job and uh, the biggest car and you know a great wife and kids. Exactly. But uh, sometimes those material things, mm -hmm. basically. With that, what they are saying is, look at me, look at me, mm -hmm. I'm important. I have a nice car, I have this, I have a beautiful wife or a good looking husband or whatever. So that is, sometimes it's a reflection of poor self-esteem when you're really flaunting it. Yes. When you say, look at me, look at me, mm -hmm. pay attention to me, pay mm -hmm. attention to me. And then in the back of their minds, they know that there's something that is That missing. is not right. Right. And they don't want to share that with anybody because they almost don't even want to admit it themselves. Yeah. So you do have to take the responsibility to make sure that you have all the bases covered there exactly. for this exactly. true self-esteem. And, and covering the bases is, 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 again, Laura, is who are you? Right. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Mm -hmm. What is your purpose in life? And once you start honoring what you discover about yourself, then you find the happiness. Then you feel worthy of happiness. Mm -hmm. You have, you know, when you approach life with passion, like you, mm -hmm. you know, you because you have a, a, a passion for things. But people who discover their passion and do nothing about it, then you have it. Miserable, unhappy people contaminating everybody else. Yes. <laughs> so Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Don't give me. No toxic people. <laughs> so it's really about this personal relationship with you and yourself. Exactly. And, and then people who have the, the sense of achievement, they all, every one of them, believe in something bigger and greater than self. Mm -hmm. You know the best, you know the best Coke in the planet. You know the best cookie or whatever you want. Well, how do you say that? Uh, the best what? The best, uh, the, the the sweetest. Yeah, the best. Yeah, the sweetest honey. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I think I will say yeah. She caught me off guard there. <laughs> Are we having fun today? The best day at the beach. There we go. Absolutely. <laughs> So anyhow, so uh, they believe in something bigger and greater than themselves. So you know that you are not the best and you know there is something out uh, bigger than you that you can look up to, you know. Right. We have to be humble in Absolutely. our lives. Yeah. And to know, because I if you think you are like the greatest yeah. ever, then you may not ever achieve that self, that personal right. self-esteem right. you're talking about. Right. Because that's the cockiness of the flesh, right. not the strength of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So how you want to live your life when you're developing that positive self-esteem is with the strength of your spirit. Mm -hmm. That's what really gets me going. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when you're just basing everything, everything on the cockiness of your flesh, then you're going to be, you know, arrogant and you think that you're the best thing mm -hmm. ever happening on the planet right. and so on. So, so a lot of it has to come from within we have to and, and I think that's where meditation comes in because sometimes you have to stop and really think about these things you know what's important to yeah. me in my life <coughs> because what is important for me might not be important for somebody Absolutely. else so we all have different levels of achieving our self-esteem exactly and, and it does take work absolutely because you know to sit quiet and make that self-discovery mm -hmm. is sometimes is very challenging mm -hmm. because it means that you have to start making changes. Mm -hmm. You might have to let it go of many things in your life when you start making the self-discovery, which like you said, that's one of the tools that are very uh, productive in that area is meditation mm -hmm. because that's when you really block out the noise mm -hmm. and the distraction of the world and the world is very noisy but there's nothing more beautiful than the power of silence. That's right. That's my thing. Sometimes with you know the busyness of everyday life, it, we forget about you who know, you that are. core self. Yeah, mm -hmm. for you forget who you are. Mm -hmm. Do you forget who you are today? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know who I am today. <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> so Robert, we have to say sayonara. Adios. Adios, <laughs> all my fans in England, we love you. Yes, we we'll, we'll be. We're gonna be right back with the lesson. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Empowerment from Dr. Josefina Monasterio.